What is up guys? Today I would like to talk to you about Heteronodia binoye, commonly known as the binose gecko. Binose geckos are commonly found all across the continent of Australia. The naming of this species was dedicated to British naturalist Benjamin Bino, whom was a naval surgeon aboard the HMS Beagle alongside Charles Darwin. The binose gecko is described as being four and a half inches slender, long-tailed, terrestrial, rough-scaled, insectivorous geckos. They are found in many parts of Australia, from the arid desert dunes to the humid forest. They take shelter under small rock surfaces, fall vegetation, and trees. Between the months of September and January, females reproduce offspring by parthenogenesis, each clutch of eggs being two, and only one clutch being produced every year. Being nocturnal animals, the binose gecko hunts at night, dieting primarily on invertebrate insects to include moths and grasshoppers. In captivity, these animals can diet on fruit flies, pinhead crickets, extra small waxworms, or extra small wax soldier fly larvae. Also, they can eat dubia roaches as well. Enclosures for these animals should be no smaller than a 5 gallon for one single adult and a 10 gallon for two adults. In captivity, these animals should be given the following. Substrate mix of sand, peat, sphagnum moss, and cocoa fiber. A moist hide, a dry hide, and a water dish. Best housed in groups, the animals are very social and interactive with their own species. In my opinion, I like to view the binose gecko as the arid version of a morning gecko. And I like to view their personalities like morning geckos being small crested geckos and binose geckos are just fine, very fast tiny leopard geckos. For temperature and heating for this species in captivity, I would suggest one heat lamp or bulb and a UV bulb if you want to. Though it is not necessary for the species to thrive in, in, in captivity, I do suggest at least coating their food with calcium if you choose not to go with a UV bulb. Choose a bulb that will give you a 85 to 90 degree Fahrenheit basking spot and a 70 to 75 temperature. If you choose to go with a UVB bulb, choose a 10.0 or one that just says it's designed for a desert species. Try maintaining the humid hide two times per week just with a misting and make sure that the entire enclosure's humidity is between 30 and 40 percent and their humid hide needs to be between 50 and 60 percent. Just a couple final things. These animals can be held, though they are best kept as viewing pets. Do not house babies with full grown adults to avoid any chance of cannibalism. If you get babies, you can incubate them at 75 degrees. Also, one final note, not much is known about these small elusive animals, but what I have found is backed by scientific research. 
I will cite everything below for those interested in reading more about these animals. And on that note, my name is Nick from Nick's Reptile World. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.